Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Here we go. We've um, got a trace file. It's 100 meg. It's called the 100 MB. I know I'm really original with my names. And uh, the 100 meg trace file is a typical trace file you might have. Uh, and there's many, many reasons why you may want to do this. I'm not going to get into all of them right now. But the point is you want to do something called packet slicing. So what packet slicing is going to do is take every single frame or packet and only let you see the X amount of bytes that you specify. So right now, for example, I might have a bunch of frames and there are 1,000 bytes, 800 bytes, and that's why, cumulatively, that's 100 meg for that trace file. Well, if I slice it, one of the reasons why you might want to slice a packet is to conserve disk space. So we're going to find out um, that 100 meg trace file, how big it is at the end of this example. Uh, there's, there's tons of other reasons why you might want a packet slice. I'm not going to get into them all right now. I've got lots of other workshops, presentations, and videos explaining packet slicing. So you can watch those at your leisure. So we're going to jump right into it. The first thing you're going to need to do is get to an application Wireshark gives you called Edit Cap. E-D-I-T-C-A-P. Edit Cap. So you could literally type the entire path if you'd like. Not a problem. Uh, the other way of doing this is if you hit the search button in Windows and you type the word environment, you'll see edit environment variables. And then you will end up in this screen here. So if you go to your environment variables, and down here at the bottom it says system variables, and you could actually go to something called your path, and add at the end of this a semicolon, and then the path to Wireshark. Now you'll be able to run edit cap from anywhere in your system without having to provide the path. Okay, That's what I did. So if I typed edit cap, by itself, enter, I'll see all of the options. What we want to do this, the slicing operation we want to do is called a snap len. Snap len. That's what this is, dash s, snap len. We want to truncate each packet to maximum bytes of data, whatever we specify, and we're going to do that in just a moment. So the big thing is now we want to um, slice it and determine the amount of bytes you want to slice it by. A uh, good rule of thumb, if you want a little bit of the MAC address, the IP, the TCP, and a bit of the application header, 128 bytes is plenty. Uh, there's many ways to determine exactly how much you want to slice this, but 128 is a pretty good place to start. So I'm going to do edit cap, dash s, space 128 for 128 bytes, space 100 MB dot pcap ng. This is the, my original file, or the input file, right? That's what you're going to provide. And then the output, the new file, is called 100 MB sliced.pcapng. So this is a 100 meg trace file, right? I want you to pay attention to this. I'm going to hit enter. I'm not pausing this. I'm not jumping ahead. I want you to see how long this takes, okay? Done. That's it. And that's why EditCap is such a cool program. It, it just rips through stuff really quick, especially when you've got something specific to do. So if I type DIR now, I'll see the 100 meg trace file. And the slice one is only 18 meg. See that? So again, if one of the reasons why you want to slice packets is to reduce the size, for many reasons, um, then there you go. Mission accomplished. So I hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.